southeastern United States is home to one of the most unique habitats in the world, the pitcher plant bogs. These bogs may look like beautiful meadows of flowers, but when we take a closer look, we see that what may appear as flowers are actually modified leaves that are used for trapping and digesting prey. These carnivorous plants have evolved this lifestyle because they live in nutrient-poor habitats and need to gain their nutrients from things other than the soil. Jessica Stevens, a graduate student at the University of Georgia, is researching the evolution of carnivory in these plants, as well as their interactions with symbiotic organisms. These plants are pretty amazing when you think about it. They have taken an everyday leaf that is typically used for photosynthesis and created this complex structure that is used to attract and digest prey. On top of that, there is a whole suite of organisms that have found a way to live inside the plant without being digested. For example, one species I have studied, the pitcher plant moth, lives its entire life cycle inside the plant, all the way from egg to adult. My current research path is to examine how these plants have evolved their specialized leaves. Specifically, I am interested in the leaf variation of one particular group, the pitcher plants. Across these species, we see a lot of variation in leaf morphology. We also see differences in the type of prey each species captures. Understanding how prey and leaf differences are related to one another can tell us a lot about how these shapes have evolved. To examine these questions, Stevens uses a combination of morphological measures of the leaves and analyzes the prey found in the pitchers. In addition, she extracts DNA from all the different pitcher plant species and uses a genetic analysis to see how they are related to one another. Hopefully through this research, we can begin to understand why there are so many morphological variations across the pitcher plant species complex, and if this is related to the type of prey they capture. In addition, we are continuing to try to unravel the microbial community structure within the plant and whether or not these microbial communities change across different pitcher plant species. Because of the unique features of these plants, I have found a passion to discover and examine them more closely. I'm actually not from the southeast, so I had no idea these plants existed. After visiting a pitcher plant bog for the first time, I was hooked. The idea of a carnivorous plant brings out the kid in you. Research of the plants in these habitats has many implications. One of the biggest concerns is the loss of habitat since many of these plants are endangered or threatened. To think that future generations may never see these places gives me the drive to continue researching these amazing habitats so that others can be enchanted by these oddities of nature.